One of my favorite side dishes with turkey is cranberry sauce. But the problem is most of the store-bought ones have loads of sugar in them. So today we're gonna show you an easy way to have cranberry sauce and keto. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we make something like cranberry sauce, you'll be alerted to it. So I love cranberry sauce, always have, and I always liked the jelly kind, you know, the one you get in a can and you turn it upside down and it's still got all the ridges in there. It was one of my favorite things to eat and when it came to the holidays, it was kind of well known Joe gets an entire can of cranberry sauce. Yeah, you have always loved that. And I love jellied things. I love jellies. I'm not such a big fan of cranberry sauce where I feel like I have twigs <laughs> still in there. I like that smooth version. But for a long time after we started keto, we couldn't get the sweetener right. right. And that just ruined the batch for me. So today we're going to show you how to make a very easy keto cranberry sauce now we actually featured this in one of our vlogs but a lot of people have messaged us so we decided to give it a standalone video so you ready to get into this yes please let me show you what we're going to need because you only need a couple ingredients and this is really easy to make wait a second how easy is it it is so easy even rachel can make it so you're saying that i can save the holiday or any day by making some cranberry sauce yep here's what you're gonna need only need a couple of ingredients first of all we need some cranberries. This is not a surprise. We're gonna need some orange peel or orange zest. We need some allulose. And then we need some water. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is bring ourselves over a pot. We're gonna put this up on high heat. And all you're gonna do is add to your pot three quarters of a cup of water. Now we are gonna leave a link for the recipe which is available on our website down below. Then to that, we're gonna add a bag of cranberries. So if you're buying just the standard bag, it's 12 ounces. You can go ahead and wash them. Just make sure you dry them because you don't want all the extra water in here. To that, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of allulose. And you're gonna use a half a tablespoon or one and a half teaspoons of your orange peel. Now, one of the things about allulose is it's only 70% as sweet as sugar. So what I like to do is add a few drops of either liquid sucralose or stevia in there because allulose does have carbs in it. Now you can deduct them if you're doing like a net carb protocol, but rather than adding a whole bunch of extra allulose to bring that sweetness up, I do three quarters of a cup, and then we're gonna put about five or six drops of liquid sucralose. Now you can always add more later, so I would just put a couple of drops in now, and then afterwards taste it and go, hey, I'd like that a little bit sweeter. Same thing with using liquid stevia. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just mix this, and then what's gonna happen is, as the pan heats up, you're gonna start to see your cranberries pop. And so every once in a while, just come back and stir it, it takes a few minutes and then you're gonna see it's starting to form that jelly consistency. Got it down to like a jelly-like consistency. You can go ahead and stop that. 
There's two things you can do here. First, you could take a potato masher and start smashing them down to make sure all of the cranberries are broken apart. And then you could actually strain out the skins if you don't want to do that. But I've got an easier way to do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Vitamix and you could do this with any like really high speed blender. The Vitamix works really well because this is one of the things it does. It can take like the pulp and the rinds and make it part of a juice and you don't even taste them in there. No. So we're gonna go ahead and take that and we're going to pour it into our Vitamix. So I'm gonna push this to the side and then we're gonna pull this out and just dump everything in there. It comes out nice and easy. It does. Now, this is one of those times where I am not going to try to do this with the lid off. No. Because it will splatter. So we can turn it on very low and get it going and you're going to see it's just going to start mixing that up and then we're going to turn it to a really high speed let that run for a minute or two Okay, that should be good. We can take this out. We can push it off to the side. Now, if you feel it doesn't have the nice thick consistency you're looking for, you could actually put it back into the pot, let it go for another couple of minutes, and that will thicken it up even more. But this is nice and thick already. And we're gonna take another bowl and we're gonna pour this into the bowl. And you're gonna see like there is like nothing left in there. There's no pulp or anything. It is nice and smooth. I do have my little spatula tool here. Get out every drop. I love this thing. We had found it on QVC at one point. Years ago. And there are some variations you can get on Amazon. If I can find a link for one, I will put it down below in the description. But it's really good at getting around the nooks and crannies of the blade. Well, it's got this little tip on it that kind of reaches underneath the blades. Now, one thing about making this cranberry sauce, just a little warning, it stains. Yeah, it does. So I have used wooden spoons and my wooden spoons are now permanently red. Also, it's very sticky because there is some natural sugars within the cranberry sauce. So I highly advise take this and immediately go start rinsing it out. Otherwise, it gets a lot more it's difficult you for life. to uh, clean out. Now, what we're gonna do is you can see this is nice and hot. Now, cranberry sauce to me is very good warm, but the longer you're gonna let this sit, the thicker it's going to get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover this up and we're gonna stick it into the refrigerator. Through the magic of television, actually I made one yesterday, we do have a cranberry sauce already made. And you can see, if you look really closely, you can see some little flecks of the skin, but it, it doesn't have that chewy consistency. It's got like a jelly consistency. It's nice and thick. It's great with your sides, but it's also good to like spread on some like PSMF bread or something like that. It, in my opinion, will work as a peanut butter and jelly jelly. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's dink it. Dink. Mmm. -hmm. It's tart, it's sweet, it's perfect. Yeah, I absolutely love this. You know, cranberries, sometimes they're hard to find throughout the year. So if you wanna have this cranberry sauce, cranberries freeze really well. So what we do is we usually go out and buy six or seven bags of cranberries, stick them in the freezer, and then whenever you wanna make this, go ahead and pull them out, follow the recipe. It takes like five minutes. Now, let us know down in the comment section if you make this. Also, let us know what are some of the other side dishes you like during the holidays. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we have a new recipe to share, you'll be learned to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.